Hi, I'm Peter King with Sports Illustrated. Indoors today at Tennessee Titans camp in Nashville with a brutal storm going on outside. But let's talk a little bit about the three issues with the Titans that I think are gonna go a long way to tell the tale about how they come out of training camp and get prepared for the season. One, obviously, Chris Johnson's status. You know, the all-pro running back is holding out of camp. He wants to be paid more like a premier quarterback than a premier running back. And I think this team right now is basically just letting the dust settle on this. There's nothing that's gonna happen, I think, in the next, say, week or so, because I think that Johnson is dug in and the Titans are dug in right now. They wanna pay him like the best running back in the league, but the one disadvantage for Chris Johnson, very simple, he's got two years left on his contract and the Titans feel like, hey, there has to be some credit given to them before they give him a big contract uh, because he's got two years left. They don't have to do anything for the next two years. Second issue, who's gonna play quarterback on this team? It's obviously at the beginning gonna be Matt Hasselbeck. And what the Titans have done here in the offseason and in this training camp is basically look at Matt Hasselbeck and say, right now you're our guy. You might be our guy for the next three years. This might be a Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers situation. But most likely, Jake Locker will play some during this season. He won't just you know, gather dust on the bench. Uh, but I think he'll play some during the season. And they want to bring him along a little bit more aggressively than Aaron Rodgers was brought along uh, in Green Bay. The third issue, a playmaker on defense. You know, after they change defenses, now go to Jerry Gray's new scheme you know, on defense, go away from, you know, for years. This was a team that tried to come at you in waves with the defensive line. And I think now you're gonna see this team be a little bit more uh, of, a, of a team that tries to cover and rush. And I think what you're gonna see on this team, they think they have three good corners. You know, Alteron Werner on the left side uh, and Cortland Finnegan on the right. And when they go into nickel now, it's gonna be Werner uh, and, Mc and Jason McCourty on the right side and Cortland Finnegan in the middle. And I think the reason that that's important, they wanna use the physicality of Cortland Finnegan in the middle and not just have him be a cover guy. Everybody remembers Cortland Finnegan going after Andre Johnson real hard uh, in, the, in the game of the Houston Texans last year. They want to see some of that physicality in, in a playmaker's sense in the middle of the field on passing downs. But they still are going to look for that guy who can get to the quarterback. The one bright spot in training camp for them has been second round linebacker Akeem Ayers from UCLA. They believe he's going to be a big impact player early in this defense. That's it from Titans Camp in Nashville. I'm Peter King with Sports Illustrated.